Justin Carver was never around black folks till he went to Tuskegee. His mother and father died or was killed. And a white family adopted him from Iowa. You know, black folks in Iowa, except football players. Hmm? So he went to grade school, high school, and they didn't have no second grade school. They didn't have enough people. Hmm? And so now George Washington Carver leaves after he get all his education came out there. He goes to Tuskegee. Henry Ford came down to visit, like he always see his friend. And he said, Mr. Ford, Mr. Ford, I got something here. Study plants. And see, if you take this back and give it to your engineers, they can build more than one car at a time. He took it back. Mass production all over the world is called the plant, right? Everybody made joke of him, because they said, well, you know, but the plants are talking to him. You know, is, is this how he's getting these, these, these properties of these plants? And George Washington Carver, in his quiet, dignified way, said, well, who taught me? I'm not saying that they talk to me like they got a tongue, but I can look at a plant and see what it can do for the human family. The military came to George Washington Carver. And they said, we need you to do something for us. Can you invent something that out of it we can get paint, glue, ink? And plastic. Young Hanover. They tell me how smart black folk are. Young Hanover. So he came back called Soybean. Now you want to hear something funny? The number one cancer group in America is vegetarians. Because <laughs> you weren't supposed to eat soy. When he got to Tuskegee, they thought he was gay. No association with women, high pitched boys, they thought he was gay. The finest juice we've been able to make of peanuts is in the treatment of the after effects of infantile paralysis. And he's rather for you to believe he was gay than tell you that them white folks that adopted him castrated him so he couldn't have sex with their daughter. Like, who wanted them? Huh? And as always, Yahweh all day, every day. Peace.